Well, hello. <coughs> Good afternoon. I'm Vicente Goyanes, CEO of Teltec. Teltec uh, is a company born um, at the University of Vigo. And um, as a, a company born in this university, we keep um, um, a straight uh, cooperation with uh, professors of this university and uh, working with them in uh, the last uh, Matterhorn pilot uh, run at uh, yeah, the, the last uh, term, the past term. We uh, try to uh, define with them how uh, this integration between uh, the lecture recording uh, platform and the Moodle platform, that's the main LMS uh, used by them should be. And um, as a result of that uh, working group, we uh, end with these three points that we must achieve. First one was that they asked for a personal repository, private repository um, hosting or uh, keeping all the recorded lectures from a professor. Uh, even from past years, and uh, that repository must ba be acce acce accessible for that professor inside Moodle. So they, they can, he can post, uh, use those recordings as, as Moodle resources. They also want to publish recording from one course in another Moodle course. So um, we cannot keep a relation between the students uh, enrolled in one course and um, uh, the um, the how we how we can uh, manage the the, the um, access of um, to those um, recordings inside uh, Motherhorn and uh, last one the st students should watch recordings only inside inside Moodle this this one was a surprise for us they don't want. Uh, students uh, watching recordings directly in, in Motherhorn because they are used to um, use some statistics or some figures then that Moodle give, give them about how students are um, using the learning resources that they are publishing. And also uh, the operation staff, so the, st the st IT staff give us this feedback about um, Mainly, they want uh, that's uh, professors uh, empower professors so they can keep their uh, um, uh, workload uh, under control. And to um, to, uh, to achieve this, we started from um, the um, integration between uh, OpenCast Matterhorn and our uh, legacy, I would say, or homegrown. Um, asset management system, it's called Pumukit. We had at that point an integration, uh, metadata integration, so Pumukit is able to build uh, catalogs and uh, as soon as uh, an asset, uh, Motherhorn asset is, uh, is clicked or whatever, uh, it flows from uh, the Motherhorn core. Pumukit looks uh, something like that. Uh, we built a media portal, um, institutional media portal with it, and uh, we are embedding uh, the Pumuk, uh, Motherhorn player in, inside there. We are also uh, we were also using um, Pumukit to publish Motherhorn recordings uh, in in YouTube, so it was quite natural to build to develop a new a new plugin or to improve uh, the, the Moodle plugin that we already had at that time uh, for na native uh, Pumukit assets. And uh, the architecture of the integration was something like this, or is something like this, because it's uh, going live uh, um, right now with a handful of, of uh, professors. Uh, the point is pro uh, students has not access uh, inside Motherhorn. Uh, in fact, Motherhorn does not, did not, uh, don't uh, know nothing about uh, the students. They don't have even uh, an account there. Um, only Moodle know, uh, the only Moodle knows about uh, 
uh, who a student is enrolled in, in, in that course. And uh, from the professor point of view, uh, it's, some, um, it's close to what you are developing at Berkeley. Professor, uh, as soon as a, recording, a new recording is ready, they get an email using uh, an, an URL inside that email. They can preview, they can uh, edit metadata, and they can make the decision to publish um, publicly or um, LMS or keep it locked. And then they go inside Moodle and they have access um, to their uh, personal repository, and they can publish in Moodle this uh, learning object, so that, that learning resource, in two ways. They can use one recording as a one uh, learning object using uh, Moodle resource, or they can use um, new feature, features, new features in new releases uh, of Moodle. They can um, uh, build they can basically edit, edit um, pages inside the course, uh, pasting uh, uh, recordings inside that, that, that page, building more complex uh, learning uh, objects. I will try to perform a demo here. Let's see how it works. Basically, the experience is something like this. I'm already logged. Uh, on the uh, media portal. Uh, so I'm Vigoya and I can go to my recordings. I'm not a professor, but I take three uh, courses uh, from friendly professors, I would say. Uh, this one about digital signal processing, I can go inside here. Uh, this is uh, uh, a course already. Uh, from the, the last uh, term, so it's ended. I can hear uh, fast for this, I, I can choose anyone. And here, professor can edit metadata. In our environment, we handle three languages, Spanish, Galician language, and, and English. Professor can edit um, title, subtitle, description, uh, and he can also, using this accordion, he can uh, review the recording. And as soon as he uh, select to publish it, he can jump to Moodle. And here inside this uh, course, he can, for instance, select to add as that recording as a single resource. Just uh, you can check here and add, and he will find hopefully a list of the recordings here of his three um, courses. I will choose classical spectral estimation, and just uh, save and display. And it should appear here as a new resource. Uh, topic, one, topic one, classical spectral estimation, and here it is. But um, what I think is more powerful is um, I have here already posted a regular uh, page about fast Fourier transform algorithms and so. And I would like to enrich it with my lecture, or I can edit it. Uh, okay, here it is. Just I would like to find where to paste it. Here, for instance. Here I can paste one or, or, or many. This is as easy as, as uh, placing uh, pictures. I can select, I would like to paste a sound. And here we have several repositories where we can find um, my, my uh, videos, YouTube, or now appears recorded lecture from Motherhorn. Uh, my three courses again, I click here, all my recordings, and I would like to choose the FFT, Fast Fourier Transform one. Select this one and insert, and it is done. So let's check it. Now the, um, this page has here embedded the lecture and the rest of the, of the um, text. This should load. And mainly um, that's it.
So are there any questions? I was just wondering on that metadata, that's Moodle metadata that you're adding related to the media? When you were adding the subtitle and whatnot like that? that no. Was, that was really. Matterhorn? Uh, the subtitle where? Oh, when in your demo earlier on, you, um, you were editing information about the title and the subtitle. Mm -hmm. Yep. Or not. That, that's Moodle. Related. No, that, that part of the demo was the uh, inside uh, Pumukit. So the thing is, uh, all metadata is harvested from, let me choose the right slide. Uh, all metadata is harvested uh, from Motherhorn um, to Pumukit, and inside Pumukit it, it, it is edited. Uh, so. Mm, at this stage is done inside our uh, media asset management system. And then uh, that data is uh, transferred to, to Moodle. Yeah, the point is um, one of my goals in this presentation is to check the interest of this use case, because uh, in my opinion, the or one better uh, implementation could be this one. Trying to uh, or more flexible implementation would be to uh, implement the Pumoodle services inside Matterhorn in a way that uh, the Pumoodle model, the, the plugin, the Moodle plugin, could um, talk directly with with Matterhorn, and in that way that metadata editing uh, will be done inside Matterhorn. But uh, currently, for this um, kind of pilot, with the complexity of uh, our needs, handling three different languages in all metadata, we are trying to keep it, it simple, uh, uh, check the user experience, and, and then if there is any interest in the community, go uh, this way. OK, thanks, Vicente. I appreciate it very much. In the interest of time, I think we'll move on to the next one, uh, the last one, last but not least, uh, Paella's HTML5 player. Thank you.